Presented by Charits. Supported by Crobodol. Uh, it's too loud! I unconsciously groped for the alarm clock by the bed. It's 5 a.m. It was long before the alarm rang. I must have fell asleep. I slowly get up from bed. I must have really overworked my body yesterday. My shoulder still hurts. I felt stiffer than usual for waking up early. So noisy in the morning. Ugh. Should I sleep more? Anyways, is there construction going on around the house? What? Wait, this sound is coming from the kitchen? Uh, so hungry. I'm about to starve and die. I'm going to die before I can save the world. You're hungry too, aren't you? Oh, yes, yes. I, uh, uh, a little. Uh, hey, can't we just get something delivered? I'll get the cash from that fellow's wallet. I saw something that looked really good on TV before. I think it was called Jaja. Could you please be quiet? Do you want to show off how rude you are? Taking the wallet, you are no different from a thief. What punk? A thief? Did you just call the Justice Warrior a thief? But look! If you talk too loud, Master will- He's calling me a thief! Hey, you listen! I only said I'll take the money, not steal it! They are the same. What is the difference? They are different! From the start, she said she likes to buy us things! Shh. You both are talking too loud. Master's going to wake up. She already looked tired last night. Yeah, both of you stopped screaming in my ears. I have low blood pressure, and I don't want delivery food. My skin is sensitive, and I have to watch what I eat. So, Tay, a home meal for me, please. It seems I've naturally become the cook. Well, okay. But first, talk after you've peeled off that facial mask. She already looks surprised. A man in an apron called Tay raises the ladle and points at me. She turned paler after seeing your face with that facial mask, Yuri. Huh? All eyes turned on me at once. So, what is happening right now? The man in the apron and bandana holding the ladle looks like Tay. The frowning man sitting at the table with his finger on his forehead is a carbon copy of Lance. The young man scratching the back of his head with an apologetic face had the same hair color as Red. The one calmly sitting at the table with his two hands gathered on his knees had Yan Ho's eyes. The tall one smoothing out the facial mask on his face. <sighs> is it really Yuri? But wait, isn't that hairband mine? Oh, Master, I apologize. We were a bit noisy just now, weren't we? The kid who looked like Yan Ho and I made eye contact. What? Master? He's right. Red and Lance, be sorry. It's gonna take a while to cook up the food. Won't you sit here since you've woken up? What did I do? He's the one who started the fight. He won't even let me wake that fellow up. Bugging me for every single tiny thing. This is because you're about to jump into the bed. <sighs> Never mind. You have no sense of your own wrongdoing. I apologize if we work you up. The one who looks like Lance slightly bowed his head to me. Just in time. I was just about to ask something. Is there an anion hair dryer in this house? You are, after all, a girl. You should have something similar. Well, your hair is kind of cute. All soft and fuzzy, like a squirrel. I think I'm dreaming a lot lately. Am I getting weak? I pinch my cheek with my eyes still on the boys in front of me. It hurts. I pinch the other side, too. It hurts twice as much. <laughs> That's enough self-mutilation for the morning. You'll be late if you don't get yourself together and start getting ready. Yo! You listening to me? Come here! There's an empty seat next to me. Let's eat together! You always eat crappy food or nothing at all. That won't do. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. You can't fight justice without it. Yes, Master, you always end up eating toast. You're already so weak. I have always worried about your eating habits. 
No, no. The baby clubs are worried sick. So sit down. Or do you want to sit on my lap? The tall man drags me towards the table. Uh, uh, huh? What is that blank look? But how about getting changed first if you're going to sit at the table? The silver-haired boy who looks exactly like Lance spoke to me. What? Uh, they're not table manners. I wish you would care about your manners if it's still home. It's enough of that redhead over there with his hideous clothes. What you say? What about my clothes? Are you being serious? Then I apologize. I have overestimated you. I at least assumed that you possess a thinking, Albert Empty Head. That just proves I am a warrior of justice! And I do have a head. What are you saying? Now wait, Red, don't flip the table over just because you're mad. Everyone's getting grouchy because they're hungry. Now, everyone, here's your meal. Oh, the plating is actually really fantastic, Tay. You have a good eye. I like it. Thanks, Yuri. I feel good hearing that coming from you. Now, I've made plenty, so everyone eat up. Master, sit here. Huh? Uh, okay. <laughs> Why are you smiling? It's like a dream come true sitting here together and eating breakfast with you. The cute kid resembling Yonho handed me a spoon, and then he wrapped his small soft hands around mine. Being able to hold these hands that have always caressed me. Master, this can't be a dream, can it? In his clear and bright eyes was pure happiness. This kid, he's so lovely. I unconsciously hold up my hand and stroke his head. His soft hair twining around my hand felt good. This really isn't a dream. Yeah, it really isn't a dream. What? This isn't a dream? Huh? Huh? I suddenly stood up. Yonho shrank back in fear and my chair fell down with a bang. Ah, I thought you were too calm. Here we go. You, you guys, wh what the hell? Wh who are you? Huh? I thought you already knew. Okay, I'll introduce myself. Listen, all right? I am the defender of Earth fighting for justice. The sacred name is Red. I'm Red, and I'm the captain of this group. <clears throat> Red? Those clothes and the name Red? My doll, Red? Yes, you are correct. So you're saying you're that doll? Yeah, that's what I said. No way! Shut up! Huh? Why not? I'm telling the truth! Why don't you believe me? But a doll moving... Coming to life... How am I supposed to believe that? <sighs> I cannot agree that guy over there is our leader. But we are your dolls. So please calm down. Yeah, I understand you're surprised, but get yourself together. Yanho over here is about to cry. The boy still coward and stiff was about to break into tears. He looked at me with wet eyes and spoke to me. I thought Master would be happy if we came to life. I was wrong. <laughs> Wait, that's, that's not it. I... My honey, now I love everything about you, my dear. But making kids cry isn't really acceptable. So I think you should comfort Yonho now. Stop crying now, Yonho. I know you're a bit confused right now, but... Why don't we eat first? Breakfast is getting cold. I see steaming hot soup and glossy rice on the table. Ever since Grandpa died, I haven't seen such a well-prepared breakfast table. Living by myself afterwards. I just couldn't be bothered to eat breakfast. Yeah. A lot of people and what's more, a lot of boys. Wait, uh, I suddenly stood up again and slowly check how I look. Even if I ignore the messy hair disheveled from the sleep, my clothes were disastrous. My pajamas were a ridiculously juvenile bear print dress I had bought in the street five years ago. There were even holes here and there. And inside the pajamas... Rollis, aspiring to be a free soul, I always took off my underwear at home and enjoyed living by myself. Do I actually look like this in front of these five? No way! Ah! <laughs> what a lively morning. <laughs>